Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here. And in today's video, as y'all can see from that title, I am bringing y'all a living room makeover and the results are going to be so beautiful. So make sure you stick around until the very end and you comment down below to let me know what you think. If this is your first time seeing my face and stopping by my channel, welcome. Here we do a lot of renovating videos, DIY videos, transformations, all that good stuff. And so if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I am super excited because I know we're going to hit it very, very soon. Also, don't forget to like the video. That helps me out so, so much. And with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get it started. So as y'all can see, we are beginning by moving a lot of the big furniture pieces out and the rug out so that we can move the other new furniture in. <laughs> In this big box that we are about to open up is my new couch that is coming straight from Ikea. It's called Stockson, and I love this couch so much that I got two of them. So you see that one over there? We're building the same exact one now, and these are a really, really, really great price, y'all. So I definitely recommend them if you're looking for a new couch and you're on a budget. This is a really great couch. I had a really hard time finding one. I went to Rooms to Go, went to Ashley Furniture, pretty much went everywhere to find a couch, but ended up with this one from Ikea and I love it. So if you're looking for it, it'll be down in the description box. And now it's time for us to put on the covers. So I got these covers offline from a lady called Linda Kale. I think her website is lindakale.com. I'll have it in the description box. And y'all, these covers are bomb, okay? So Ikea, they only had three colors, I believe, for this couch. It was like black, navy, and then maybe a gray. And I didn't want any of those because I really want a white couch. So I found a lady online who makes custom um, slip covers for every single Ikea furniture piece. So I was like, okay, perfect. And these are super duper affordable. I'm even thinking about getting a different color in the future. And they are really easy to put on. They're made well. The only thing is, though, is that the shipping takes quite a while. So if you are considering getting something like this, um, please, you know, you got to plan ahead because it took about four weeks for it to actually get here to me. She had to make it and the shipping time, so keep all of that in mind too. Holding back, I got history. guys gotta let me know down in the comments how you all are feeling about this white couch when I first told y'all I wanted one I know y'all were super duper wary but I've got to say it's been doing pretty pretty good I mean the only thing is that it gets a little bit linty so I definitely am gonna get some scotch guard I know y'all recommended that to me before I still haven't gotten it yet but I will very very soon <laughs> Y 
y'all. I am obsessed with this rug, okay? The colors, quality, everything is perfect. This is a 9 by 12 and get this, it was only 149 bucks from rugs.com, y'all. So if you're looking for a rug, I recommend it. They even had a black one that I was thinking about for like contrast, but I ended up going with this one. So y'all let me know what you think about that and I'll have the link down below. Back to work. All right, so now that the rug was down and the couches were built, it is time to start working on this coffee table that I got. If you guys watch my vlog, my last vlog, I got this off of Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. It's beautiful, I love it, real wood. And the people I bought it from actually said that the top used to be a kitchen table and the top is huge. So I thought this would be perfect. And so I just wanted to paint it black so that it really would fit within my space. And so that's exactly what I'm doing now. Y'all let me know what you think when you see the final result. So while the table is drying, we decided to go ahead and get started on building my entertainment center. Also, this is from Ikea too. Ikea has really come through for me with this living room, okay? I've never bought big furniture pieces from them ever, ever before, but everything, well no, this was pretty hard to put together, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, it looks beautiful in the end, as you guys will see. And so I'm curious to know where you guys bought a lot of your furniture pieces from. So let me know down in the comments where you got a lot of your big items from too. You guys, let me know down in the comments how y'all feel about assembling furniture. For me, it's definitely not my thing. So shout out to Marcus because as you can see, I've disappeared for a little bit and he kind of took over with this. So yeah. Um, so yeah, y'all let me know. How do you feel about assembling stuff? I can't admit that sometimes it is pretty fun, but this was very, very tedious. There's a lot of pieces and a lot of parts, but um, it looks super duper good in the end. So y'all, this is what it is looking like all together now. They look so cute and then there's going to be another one right here that Marcus is going to build. <laughs> Do that together. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do it together. <laughs> okay, so y'all, let me show them the lanterns real quick before you put them up. I got these lights off Amazon. They look like this, and I thought these would be really cool to hang over the bookcases and everything. You guys will be linked down below just in case you're curious about where anything is from. So Marcus is gonna hold it up there real quick and then just make sure that. It's actually gonna look the way I want it to look. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's gonna look fire. And these are plug-ins, so no hard wiring. I mean, you can hard wire if you know how or you have someone you want to do that for you, but I'm just gonna plug them in because it's really more so for decor. So yeah, it's mostly gonna be for decor. So let me show y'all it back here. Yeah, it looks 
fire oh my gosh i cannot wait and so we have two of those um lights another one's gonna go over the big one right here exciting stuff so are we calling it a night for tonight or yeah, are you about to build the other one real quick no, i'm about to put the boxes in the living room okay and currently right now i am editing my video the fireplace makeover i'm editing that so if you haven't seen that video and this is your first video that you've seen from me please check that one out once you're finished with this one so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow Right now we are building the other part of the entertainment center and then we're gonna bring in the coffee table since it's all nice and dry and I love it. So this is what everything is looking like right now. Sofas, coffee table, rug, and entertainment center. What are y'all thinking so far? Let me know in the comments. All right guys, so I am choosing between two different spray paints for the knobs. I have no idea which one I wanna pick. Um, I picked out this one originally, this Rust-Oleum Aged Metallic Gold Spray Paint. Uh, it's supposed to be a vintage gold. So I thought, hmm, that could be kind of cute to play up on like all the other gold pieces I have by the fireplace um, air, or just paint it black to kind of mirror the hutch because all the hutch hardware is black. And all the hardware in the kitchen is gonna be black. So maybe I should go with black or do a little pop. Mm, I have no idea. So what I think I'm gonna do to figure it out is take the knobs, which I'll show you guys in a second. They're real basic knobs and then just spray paint them, spray paint some of them gold, spray paint some of them black, bring it in and see what I like better. And then eventually later on down the line, I wanna save up to get some really pretty like decorative antique looking knobs because this is a really modern piece of furniture and I wanna make it look more rustic, if that's the right word, just a little bit more, less new. I wanna make it look less, you know, so I want to get some really antique knobs to go on it in the future. That's my head process. But for right now, this is the cheapest option. So let's see. So while the knobs are drying, Marcus is going to put up those little lights that I showed you guys a bit earlier over the bookcases. All right, you guys, so the light is up and this is what it is looking like. It's exactly how I wanted it. And so on this side, we're gonna do the exact same thing. But let me give y'all a side view real quick. Like, I might point it down a little bit. I mean, like tilt it up like that a little bit more, like out. But once I put the knobs on here, I'll be able to open this. It definitely won't hit when I open it. So that's good. But yeah, I'm in love. I'm in love. So we're now gonna work on this one back here. Here we go. Perfect. All right guys, so yep, these are the lights. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think about them.
this golden hour glow is everything. And at this point, I was loving the way everything was turning out. It definitely gave me cozy vibes. guys these lights are a vibe i love them be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think and of course i'll have them linked down below i got them off amazon they were an amazing deal i think it was like 40 bucks for two so yeah and with that we are going to begin decorating everybody's favorite part all right so we're starting off decorating by putting all of the pillows that i got off of Amazon onto the couch and I'm also showing you guys the pillowcases that I got for them this one is from H&M home so beautiful you guys it's gorgeous and the next one I'm gonna show you I believe is from Amazon which also was a really good deal everything will be linked down below of course and so I got a lot of pillows I went pillow crazy as I usually do um, am I the only one that loves throw pillows? I think they're so cute and I pretty much have them for all the different holidays and seasons and stuff like that. So y'all please let me know I'm not the only one down in the comments. And so now that the pillows are stuffed, I am opening up a box of just like random decor pieces that I had. And I was just trying to see if I had anything that could possibly go into the bookcases. I didn't buy anything for them yet because I just wanted to go through what I already had. And um, I quickly realized that, wow, I really don't have too much that I would even want to go in there. A lot of this stuff is for like my bedroom and the sunroom and other things like that. So... I was kind of disappointed, but I'll talk to you guys a little bit at the end what my idea is for the bookcases, but I just kind of decorated with what I had, as you guys will see in a second. Also, really quick, I realized that I didn't mention to you guys what my whole like color story is and my whole theme is for the living room. And so basically, I'm going with white, black, gray, and then my pop of color is like sage. And so you guys let me know down in the comment what your color story is or like the theme that you are doing in your living room. I always find that really interesting to see like or to hear what everybody else does because I know everyone has a different style in my last apartment um, my color story was a black natural jute colors and then also a terracotta orange so it gave it like a real bohemian feel and then in my first ever big girl apartment my first time living on my own my color story was like navy gray gold silver pretty much mixed metals and like a light blue so I've been doing a couple of different things over the years and here in my first home I wanted to do something a little bit different so you guys let me know what your color story is right now and how often do y'all switch it up because I don't know if I'll be switching this up soon I probably won't be to be honest because I feel like this is so classic and timeless that these colors can just last forever but yeah let me know how often y'all switch it up
I got tired the night before and so today I am finishing up the living room decor. That beautiful basket that I just showed you guys, it is from Walmart and I think it was around $20. It is lovely, it is big, and it's gorgeous and so I'm just putting a couple little items in here. This candle is also from Walmart. That pot and the plant that I just put down is from Walmart. Walmart has been coming through for me as well. And also, I think I showed you guys this stuff on my Instagram. I think I did. So please be sure you are following me at Young Lady Business because I always give y'all like some sneak peeks. And sometimes I post things there that I don't even post on YouTube. So if you want to stay updated, that is the place to go. Those coasters that have the K's on them are from the Pottery Barn Outlet. I felt like this little area over here needed a table and so I stole this bedside table from my room and I put it here for now and I kind of like it. I was thinking about painting it black but I just decided to leave it for now and so um, this pot is also from Walmart. The plant I got from Aldi, her name is Figgy Smalls. Shout out to my friends on Instagram who helped me name her. And I'm just adding a couple more bits and bobs. That little succulent is from Home Depot. And the candle right there is from Wally World. I haven't really talked too much to you guys about this, but I am a plant mom now, y'all. And I've been a plant mom for maybe, I don't know, a month now or a couple weeks. And I have been, I've just been trying my best to keep my babies alive, making sure they are flourishing. And um, thank you to everybody on Instagram who always gives me great tips, like the moisture meter. And I also have a snake plant that I'll show you guys in a little bit. And so y'all giving me some good tips about watering, not watering him um, too often because there's leaves, something's going on. But then Figgy Smalls, her leaves are browning, so I really am trying to learn as much as possible. I don't want my babies to die. Leave me more plant tips down in the comments, YouTube family. That would be so awesome. I'm currently styling my blanket basket. I was just trying to get it right. There's a lot of pillows in there and then a throw blanket. I feel like it's so cute to have that next to the couch. I love the way it looks. And I wanna be alone with you. Alone, 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 alone with you. My love. So I can show you what I'm gonna do. All right, and here is that snake plant I was telling you guys about earlier. His name is Accra, and I got him from Aldi. For now, I didn't change his pot out yet, but I'm putting him inside of these planters, and I got both of those um, from Marshalls. All right, you guys, so it is almost time for the big reveal, but before we do that, y'all, I gotta throw it all the way back to the moment where I got the keys to my first house, this Fixer Upper Ranch. And this is what the living room was, y'all. It was brown everywhere you looked, everywhere. And so going back and listening to this video again, I really manifested pretty much everything that I wanted for this space. And that is absolutely amazing to me. It's, and all the glory goes to God because my journey to get this house was not easy, as y'all know. And for those of you who don't know, it was not easy. So to be where I am now and to have this living room looking like this, it is completely different. And so now, you guys, I want to show you all the final reveal. Here we go. <laughs>
Alright guys, so we've come to the end of the video and everything is done and decorated for the most part. About 80-90% done. Next thing I want to tackle are these shelves. And so I put a couple of things in here. I don't know if I included the footage or not of me doing that. But I just really didn't like how it looks. So my idea is to go thrifting and go like antiquing and then try to find like a lot of really cool paperback. I'm sorry, hark back books to put in here and then other like little trinkets. But whatever I do in one, I kind of want to mirror it in the other. I love how the plants look up there. Like that looks cool. So I just want to keep doing like, um things like that in there. And I think the books will elevate it, pictures and some quotes some family photos, like some black and white photos in there too, will all look really good. So further styling on these bad boys will happen later. I was also thinking about mounting my television. That way I can really use this space more so to put like decorations and other stuff. So y'all let me know what you think about that in the comments. That was one of my ideas that I was thinking. Um, and if you watched my last video about the fireplace, I put this clock here. Y'all let me know what you think. I feel like it's okay, but this definitely is not like the permanent setup. So I think when I go thrifting, I'll try to find like a couple other items for this space as well. So that is the plan for that. The couches and the pillows I am obsessed with. I think this looks bomb. Like I'm not changing anything about this. I don't think like in my head, it's perfect. This couch, like the way I styled it is also perfect. Um, this back here, I think looks really cute. So I feel like that's great. I just down it there at the bottom. I would love to put like some books or something down there. That would be really cool. Or magazines. And then right here i love the way this turned out i think that little circular basket tray is so cute and um yeah i think minimalist styling in there like it really helps bring the place to life over here with my blanket basket and extra pillows i feel like that looks good and like the basket that is in is like a really nice color so that's great and then the planner i feel like that's good right now as well I was trying to see if I should bring my other bedside table in over here, but then I was like, no, like let this be, you know, kind of more open and airy. So that's why I kind of left it like that. So yeah, guys, that's where it, that's what everything is looking like currently. And as far as this down part, this part down here, I don't know. I don't know, but I have plenty of storage, you guys. Like, I don't know if I showed y'all in here yet. I'm sure you can see when I was building it, like it's plenty of storage. And for me, that is exactly what I need because, hmm, I have things. So a lot of things will be going in here. I already put my games in here. So, oh, and these are just some little plants from Aldi I was playing with that'll probably go in these little shelves, but just haven't found the perfect spot. And then of course we have the mirror here. So yeah, guys, and I put these two little planners here. I thought that was pretty cute. So you guys let me know what you think about that. I feel like adding in a lot of those brown, rattan, wicker. It just, I don't know, it makes the space look really fresh. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed this living room transformation. It's not completely done, and I feel like that's okay for right now because I gotta get started on this kitchen, so that's super duper exciting as well. But yeah, where it's at right now, I love it. I just need to add a couple more decor and styling pieces. So y'all leave me your suggestions and decorating tips down in the comments and everything like that. I love to read those from you guys. And yeah. Also friends, if you're looking for anything um, that I have in this video that you want for yourself, it will always be down in the description box. So please be sure to check that out. Also my website, youngladybusiness.com slash media. I have like a whole bunch of links on there. And um, like for every part of my home, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, a lot of my links are on there. So I'll pop that up here on the screen. You guys go and check that out. I hope you like it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a really great day, guys. And see you next time.
Bye.